All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. This is the brother lawyer. I teach with the Great Millstone Nashville camp. And this is a camp recap. All right. Yesterday at camp, we had this old Jake that came up and um, he would listen to us going to the scriptures. And then when the brother said something about uh, worshiping the Virgin Mary, he disagreed. And he, he did a lot of babbling. All right. And he went in, he tried to, well, he went in to say how, um, the Jews have rejected the Lord, and that's not true. When you go into the scriptures, it clearly states that you had believers that were Jews, you know, and then you had the scribes and Pharisees, the elders that didn't believe in the Lord, or they uh, they rejected him. All right, so I'm going to play a little bit of this video, and... Uh, I'm going to go into the scriptures, all right? We're going to see what the scripture says, all right? He's going to do a lot of babbling, and, you know, the wind was blowing, you know, so lucky about that. But just keep listening, all right? All right, so after that, after I say, after your call, the brother of the head camp, I mean, uh, over the over the camp, he says, you know, I want to know what this got to do with Mary. And that's when I say, you know, Mary too. I'm holding the camera. All right, so check this out. The Jews never rejected the Lord. All right, and he doesn't have an understanding that the Gentiles were Israelites, all right? Now, he said the Jews rejected them. That's the main part I wanted to get. And I don't want to make this too long. So, let's go to Luke. Go to Luke 9 and 22, all right? It says, saying, the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be risen the third day. All right. So that scripture says that the ones that reject the Lord will be of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain. Right. And be raised the third day. All right. So, the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude, all right? That's another scripture where it says that the multitude were persuaded, all right? Now, let's go, let's get a quick precept. <clears throat> this is Mark 8 and 31. Uh, yeah, Mark 8 and 31. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must so like it, that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders 
and of the chief priest and the scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. All right. Um, so like you. Now we're going to go to Matthew 16 and 21. Uh, let's see, actually. So lucky. All right, so this is Matthew 16, 21. It says, From that time forth began Yahweh Shah to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. All right? So it keeps reiterating the same thing. All right? And that's not hard. It's not hard to understand. All right? Um, let's see. Was it Matthew Salaki? So this is Matthew 17 and 22. And it said, And while they abode in Galilee, Yahweh shall say unto them, The Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of man. And they shall kill him in the third day. He shall be raised again. All right. Plain and simple. Let's go to Luke 24. <clears throat> Luke 24. And. Let's see. Luke 24. Salaki. Yeah. Luke 24 and it's like it. actually <clears throat> bear with me real quick do want to get that precept All right, so we're going to go to Mark 10 and 33. All right, so Mark 10, 33, and it reads, <clears throat> and it says, saying, behold, behold, we go, so like we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles, and they shall mock him, and shall, and shall scourge him, and shall spit upon him, and shall kill him, and the third day he shall be risen. All right? When you go into the word for Gentiles in this, this is talking about the actual heathen. All right? When you look up the word Gentile, it can go depending on the scripture. Because, you know, you have to understand that the Israelites were called Gentiles, too. That's, that's Luke 24. It's a lot of Actually, actually, let, let, let's let's go back to Luke 22 and 2. And the chief priests and scribes, that's what I actually want to get. And the chief priests and the scribes saw how they might kill him, for they feared the people. So the chief priests, the scribes, they feared the people. All right. Uh, let's go to John 11, 47, and they wanted to kill the Lord. All right. The Lord was basically, they, the Lord was going to take them out of their power seat. All right. They had, uh, they had rulership, some type of rulership 
over the Israelites by the way of the Romans. All right. The same thing like what these churches are doing, you know, when they sign that 501c3 charter and they receive their tax free money. All right. They're not, they wasn't uh, uh, basically telling the people about the Lord. You know, they didn't believe on him. And they, they wanted him, they was expecting him to come looking uh, majestic, you know, in gold and, and, and uh, extravagant apparel and so forth. So this is uh, Luke, I mean, not Luke, Salaki, John eleven forty seven, And it reads, Then gathered the chief priest and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and and nation and and that was the main thing that's the main key all right and one of them named uh caiaphas being the high priest that same year said unto them ye know not ye know nothing at all nor consider that this is expedient for us that one man should die for the people for who's the people the israelites and that the whole nation perish not and this spake he uh and this spake he not of himself but being high priest that year he prophesied that yahweh should die for the nation all right and not for the nation only but that also he should gather together in one the children of god that were scattered abroad and that's a cut that's a clean cut proving that the gentiles all right, the ones that were being gathered out of all nations, right? That's why you have a book of Acts and so forth. The apostles, uh, uh, the formerly called disciples, right, went to Antioch. You know, they went to different parts of Rome, Italy, to gather the, the nation, the children of God that were scattered abroad. Uh, then from that day, John uh, 11 and 53, uh, 53, 53, then from that day forth, they took counsel together for to put him to death. All right. Uh, Salaki. Uh, Yeah, and, you know, you keep reading that, it's going to go into how Yahweh Shai left and the Pharisees sought to take him, all right? So that was just the main point on that, you know. So with that, I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful you left of the nation of Israel. Uh, I don't have a lot of time. So eventually... I'm going to play more clips of what happened at camp because he did a lot of other rambling. We're going to go in to uh, the Gentiles more in the next lesson. And uh, he also says something about the Ark of Titus. Well, the Ark of Titus had nothing to do with uh, Mary and so forth. I, and actually, the Ark of Titus has something to do with us being taken down in 70 AD. All right, so basically... Uh, this is a after camp recap, and it will be called uh, the chief priests and elders rejected the Lord, not the Jews in whole. Shalom.